Hey, so this is an update video. Um, it's going to have several videos pieced together um, from different days and stuff. Um, on their own, I didn't think they were long enough to post, so I thought I would just make a update video. My doctor recently wanted me to redo my um, heart monitor, and I'm actually wearing it now. It kind of looks like a floss thing, right? It looks weird. It's very uncomfortable and very itchy on the sides right here. Um, I'm getting to take it off in the morning. They're only wanting me to wear it overnight, so um, that's really good for me. I don't like wearing it. Um, I did think my first one was less annoying to my skin um, but it was a little bit more annoying because I had six things stuck to me and I had a little box um, I might flash a picture up on the screen of it I can't wait to take it off this is supposed to be hyperallergenic or something um, I might be saying the wrong word but it seems to be really bothering me on this side so I don't think it's the actual sticker, I just think it's the fact of where it's at. It's being moved around a lot like that whenever I move my arm or anything like that. So it's just kind of aggravating me. And um, I'm supposed to be doing a at-home sleep study, so um, I'm going to let y'all see that at the end of this video. So I'm able to take this off now. Um, the Scratches kind of hurt. Ow. Mm. It doesn't feel good. Mm. It hurts. This is what it looks like. I'm going to let you watch the um, video I recorded after going to Walmart. So here's that video. I just wanted to make a short video, um, an update on um, the gen genetic testing I'm doing. The place I was referred to first um, was told me it was illegal for them to take me because of my Medicaid. If I didn't have Medicaid and just had my first insurance Aetna, they would say, yes, we can take you. But because I have Aetna, I mean, because I have Medicaid, they can't take me. So, I have to call my insurance company and see if they have any genetic testing available. And... The reason I wanted to make this short video and not just update y'all in like a different video is partly because I keep forgetting. And second, because I went to Walmart and a trip that should have taken me 10 minutes took me an hour. I kept, none of their motorized carts were working so I used my walker and I wanted to make my autism video and I needed something in order to make it. So I went. The problem is today is raining, and when it's raining, my pain escalates extremely. And I'm really scared because my pain is so bad now that I couldn't fully drive myself home with my right foot. I had to stop using my right foot and start using my left foot, which it was kind of dangerous, honestly. It was less dangerous than using my right foot, though, because every time I would press down on it, I, the pain m made me just automatically let go of the pedal. And so I was doing the stop and go, stop and go, and people were going around me, and... I'm learning my new... Um, limits and my limits are really scaring me. I'm slowly losing more and more 
mobility due to pain. And pain makes you crazy, especially when you don't know what it's from. I had to have my mom park the car for me. I had to call her outside and park the car for me and help her have her help me in the house. I'm 20. I shouldn't have to do this. I love my life and my chronic illnesses is not making that change. But I'm scared for my independence and I'm scared for my future. I shouldn't have gone out when it was raining. I know that. But I'm a, um, I have a thick head. And I told myself I could do it. I obviously did it. But now I am paying for it way more than I thought I was going to. So, um, I want to make a TMI video, like the TMI tag video, so um, ask me a bunch of random questions down below. There's no questions that are off limits. I'll answer anything. Um, I'm going to be making my interstitial cystitis video soon too. I have all these videos planned, um, so many planned in my head that I'm kind of overwhelmed and excited at the same time. I've been watching YouTube for so long and I never thought I would actually become a YouTuber and I know that that was something that you have to do yourself and you have to initiate yourself and this has been very therapeutic. I'm so thankful for y'all watching and um, I don't want this to just be about me. <clears throat> I want this to be about all of us. So, to the people that have been commenting on my videos and telling them about them, telling me about themselves and everything, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, because this community is small, but it's a community now, and I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just grateful. So, hey, I look a little weird. I have this little oxygen thing that's not pumping any oxygen, but it like will tell when I'm breathing. And then on this finger, I have this thing. I don't really know what it does, but it's there. I'm sitting on my back in my chair. Sorry, but um, this is a little thing that's on my stomach. Not really sure what it does, but I'm going to press this. Okay, so I think it's on now. We're good. Okay, so um, I'll talk to y'all later. I do want to say that I am working on my autism video still, so be on the lookout for that. I'm really trying to get it to up and edited, edited and up, you know, before um, the end of this month. But I'm trying to find some more pictures because I only have a few pictures. Um, for some reason, I can't find any pictures of me, um, and our family has lost a lot of pictures, so. I apparently it was my a lot of my pictures that were lost um okay I'm just gonna go to sleep now I have um it in my nose and it on my finger and it's strapped to my tummy thanks for watching night night hey so um I finished my um sleep test e three days ago I think First thing I realized is they gave me a sleep apnea test. Don't really know why they gave me a sleep apnea test. Because that's not my problem. So, um, we're probably going to have, I don't know what's going to come back from that test. I'm kind of annoyed that they gave me a sleep apnea test. I think that was kind of pointless. I know I don't have sleep apnea. Or if I do, I'd be very surprised. And honestly, I accidentally pulled the little thing off my face when I was sleeping due to the sensory issues I have. 
and so I don't really know how exactly how accurate it was. Um, I'm curious to know what they say with me, wait, with the amount of times I woke up. Um, I'm not sure if it tells them that, but I turned the machine on and off when I woke up because I didn't want to wear it when I was awake. Um, I didn't really vlog that because it was not really anything important. It'd be like, hey, I woke up, I'm taking it off. Hey, I'm putting it back on, I'm going back to sleep. It, it, it just would have been stupid. So, um, my mom ended up waking me up and taking it off of me and stuff. And then I went back to sleep and kind of have been asleep for, since then I've been waking up just to eat and drink stuff. Um, not really been doing anything. I've been kind of just out of it. I'm exhausted. I don't have any energy. Um, I, I'm wanting to film my autism video again because I filmed it, but I didn't like it. I was very out of breath and just my energy was down. It, I was very, I just felt very self-conscious of it when I was trying to edit it. So I'm going to redo it and um, that's going to make it come out later, but I'm really not happy with it. So, um, on the 20th is my tilt table test, so I'm kind of nervous about that. I don't really know how I'm going to feel afterwards. I know when I pour man's table test, I feel crappy, and that's only a few seconds. And I think they're wanting me to stand on that thing for an hour, so... I don't know. I'm hoping they'll let me record the whole test, but we'll see. Um, I've read and heard that they are like extremely strict with the test and don't even like want your parents in there sometimes, so we'll see about that. So I just want to give a big thanks for watching and make sure you comment a bunch of questions in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video.